welcome back to another video of mine. Today we're in my garage doing some more BMW things. I actually just had a ton of things come in the mail today, so I want to go ahead and show you all of the BMW parts that I got, and we'll be installing them. The we'll be installing, obviously, on my E46. I don't know if I'm going to get to all of them today, but I just want to show you because I get excited about it. It is the middle of freaking summer here in Virginia, and humidity is at like a thousand percent. Like the sun's not even shining. And I'm, I'm just sweating so bad. <laughs> and I haven't even been out here that long. <laughs> yep, so first things first, we got ourselves some seats. A bucket seat. So obviously that these are used energy seats. Uh, my friend Elliot went ahead and gave these to me. So shout out to him, thank you so much. I'm very excited to get these installed on the BMW, but I will need to get some seat brackets for this car specifically. Not only did I get these awesome seats from my friend Elliot, Thank you so much for those. I also have a drive shaft flex joint. Um, I'm not sure if mine is bad, but with the amount of miles on this chassis, might as well go ahead and replace it. Uh, this is just an OEM one. I might end up upgrading to something else later on, but I got this for a pretty good deal. I also have both of these sway bar end links finally, so I can put my front sway bar back on. And I also have, this is a stainless steel uh, Venus oil line it has both new banjo bolts and new crush washers because I'm pretty sure that mine is leaking and for me to go drifting I obviously need to fix my oil leaks first and I think I have more than one so I'm just gonna go ahead and start on like the, the topmost part of the engine where the oil leaks might start from and I'm pretty sure that this is the highest point where the oil leaks are starting from and then maybe after that I can find another oil leak or hopefully this will just be the only one. I might also have a coolant leak because my coolant light came back on today. So we're gonna go ahead and start off by replacing this today. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, I just have to move like my air box and my power steering reservoir out of the way, take off the old one and put on the new one. Sounds easy enough to me. Let's get started. Ugh. Look at all this luxury under this hood. All right, cool. So for the line, it's this one. So here's the top part. And then, ow, it's hot. I just moved the car in here. That's surprised how hot it gets and stays hot. So up here underneath this cover is the Vanos system. And it starts here. And this line goes down to the bottom of the block. For me to get to that bottom piece, I'll just have to remove this part of the air box, the filter. And then I can undo these two screws to the power steering pump reservoir, move it out of the way. And since I got a little tiny baby hands, I'll easily be able to reach underneath and get access to the other bolt to take off this line and then put in the new one. Perfect, so I have the air box out of the way, the air filter, and I've taken these two bolts off the power pump steering reservoir. All right, so this is a switch. This is a switch that I could unplug. It is just on the other side, that banjo bolt. I'm not sure if y'all can see it. I'm touching it. It's covered in what looks like grease and oil, and then everything right here to the left that's underneath it is also covered in just oil and nastiness. So I'm hoping that that is what's leaking and causing all of these oil leaks for my car. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get either a socket or a wrench on that bottom banjo bolt first, undo that side and then undo the top side. Okay, another one of those times I'm really thankful I got little baby hands. I don't have to unplug any of the sensors to get my hand around there. Ooh, ooh. There we go. Oh, that was easy. Ow. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> you happy with what you've done now? No. Yes, you are. I feel mean, like deep down you're a little bit angry. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, look at all the friggin' filth on this. Man, it's real. Like, look at the amount of filth that's on this oil. 
Bro, I got 10%, okay? <laughs> So not only did I take out the oil line for the Veno system, underneath where it, the banjo bolt goes into the block and underneath, I cleaned up as much as I could oil and debris because there's just so much. Because um, even this line is just absolutely filthy, like just gunk. A lot of the engine bay is still like this at the bottom. So hopefully when I put in the new one, there won't be any oil leaks. So for the new one, I went ahead and got a stainless steel. Uh, it's by Chase, Chase Products. Uh, I went ahead and just felt like upgrading. Why not? It wasn't that much more. And at least now I know I'll never have to do it again, um, except the crush washers if I were to do like a Venus rebuild. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this guy installed. And voila, the New Venos oil line is in our engine bay. Very nice, went ahead and tightened her down. The rear took a little bit longer than I had anticipated, um, but I did go ahead and get that secured down. I'm gonna put back the air box and the power steering pump reservoir and go take her on a test drive to kind of see if this fixes some of the oil. I don't know, just to see, I guess, if there's more oil down there. And if not, take a little bit of a closer look on what might be leaking underneath there. Thank you, Virginia. Awesome, so we're back. Uh, I went ahead and did a few pulls on the highway. Uh, nothing too crazy. Got the BMW up to temps and, you know, up to speed. So I can definitely smell oil burning off the block from uh, obviously the old parts. I'm trying to see if there's anything under here that might be leaking. Doesn't really look like it. Nothing crazy. I don't have any clean paper towels with me, so I'm just using this one that I was using earlier. And try to see if I can get my hand underneath here again. I doubt it. But to be honest, it doesn't look like anything crazy. Um, I can't see anything. I don't think that that line is leaking anymore. I think for me to figure out where the next oil leak is, is to clean up everything from underneath again and drive it around for a while or a day or two and kind of see if there are more leaks. So yep, I'm gonna go ahead and top it up with some coolant and get rid of that coolant light. And that's gonna be it for today's video. Something just quick, easy. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys. And I'm really excited for this BMW build to come along. You know, every little piece counts. And thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.